with all the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. It is great to have you with us on the cafe. Now we'll be chatting with Nadia Lim to find out more about what she's been up to recently. Right now though, type her name into IMDB and her animation credentials jump out, showing her work on an array of international feature films, including The Hobbit, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, The Hunger Games, Iron Man 3, The Jungle Book as well, which recently won an Oscar for Best Visual Effects and so much more. Please welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge and the cafe, Chrissy Mitch. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> that is a seriously impressive CV. Now, you're actually the animation producer or the coordinator on lots of these movies. Most coordinator. So yep. what does that mean? Basically, it's my job to get my team of animators to finish on time. That's pretty much my job. So you're <laughs> cracking the whip to make yeah. sure they do what they yeah. do. A nice whip. Yeah. <laughs> That's an incredible lineup of movies you've been involved with. How does you know someone start in this industry? If someone's watching now that wants to go on to what you're doing, can you remember your first job? How did it all uh, start? That's a good question. But well, my, my first job was actually on the Bro Town. Um, as uh, well, I got to ink and paint, so I could tell my mum, "See, you can colour in and make money." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, and then I eventually just fell into production. I prefer actually working with people to computers. So right. it was just a natural progression for me. But um, I mean if you can start out you know learning on your CV as an animator that helps and mm. then work your way in so um, but yeah there's lots of them um, as we scroll through all of your movies you see that you know it looks very glamorous you've worked on some really top named movies is it glamorous or is it just hard graft it's not glamorous um, everyone's so down to earth and so lovely like most of the people I worked with at Weta have won an award or been nominated for an award and but you know everyone's just in their jeans and jandals and t-shirts and um, and it's just lovely like it's not I mean, it's glamorous in a lovely kind of way, but it's not, you know, glamorous. <laughs> it's not glamorous, isn't it? No, it's as beautiful as you are. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't wear this, I don't wear this to work. <laughs> Just jeans and T-shirts. No, well, yeah. it's, a good, it's a good story to, to hear because there's probably a lot of people that want to do what you're doing. So nice to see how, you know, you can actually make a career out of doing this. Uh, but you've also branched off into books. Have, yeah. So tell us about the series of books you've got out. Well, it's called Max and His Big Imagination. And... Um, I wrote these books a long time ago but I didn't have a chance to do anything about them and when my son was born, he was born six weeks early on the day I was working on Jungle Book at Weta um, at 2am in the morning and um, they sent my leaving flowers to the hospital <laughs> and I thought when you know he was sleeping, he was a prem, I had time so I decided to um, do something. It can be a bit lonely as a mum when you first start out mm. and um, so I decided to write them down and get them moving. Is your son Max? No, my nephew is Max. Oh, your nephew's Max. It's so, a great name. Yeah. So the books are aimed at what, one to seven years old? Yeah, right? yeah. My son's 20 months now and he loves them. So, And I've had kids even older than seven come in and say they love the Max books. So, yeah. What's the fundamental thing to put in a kid's book, do you think? Um, well, just watching my son, it's just put in animals. Animals is a huge love, and lately it's cars and diggers and, diggers. <laughs> and dinosaurs. Digger. I would imagine it's harder to write less words than it is to write more words. Would that be true with a children's book? Yes, I'm always my editor's always cutting me down. <laughs> and the interesting thing about you too is that we look at these books and they've got beautiful pictures in them, and we assume that you are the one who's drawn them because no. you're an actor. But that's not the case. No, I can't draw. You don't want me on your Pictionary team. <laughs> I can't draw at all. Um, yeah, I can see the images from working with all these amazing people I'm around their craft and I can make movies in my head and see all the images and from working on my job of producing I know how to tell people how to make them but I can't do it myself. <laughs> and there's three different books in the series now isn't there? Yes yeah there's um, The Beach, The Safari and my newest one which is The Sandpit. Excellent and you've just finished work on um, Gary of the Pacific. Yes you? that was so much fun those guys are hilarious. Josh yep. Thompson and the Spanx so what's next for you? Um, well I'm currently working with um, the Film Commission and we're working on a co-production with China, hoping to bring in a lot of money into um, New Zealand and make some movies in Auckland especially, not just in Wellington. So um, I'm busy, that's my busy day job at the moment. Wow, so, nice. Yeah, and I know these weren't written about Max, but they were written, I guess, for Max. Is yes. he old enough to read them yet? Yes, well, when I originally wrote them, he was two, but now he's nine, so he's grown up a lot. He's and well old enough. Yeah, and they have yeah. to get the seal of approval from him before you print them? No, I don't, but he loves them anyway. He has to love them. <laughs> he has to love them. <laughs> hey, Chrissy, it's been it. an absolute pleasure having you in the studio. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you. Max and his big imagination, The Sandpit, is out now from Duckling Publishing. You can check out Chrissy's website for all the details. Yeah, thank you so much, Chrissy. Congratulations. What a career.